I'm Joyce Booth and I'm the Information Advisor Support Coordinator for Tame Sign Boss. This is our long term support group and um, people come along here to peer support, to share their stroke experience, to have some fun um, and to reduce social isolation. We, we have a lot of volunteers within our service. I think the last count is about 35. The majority help out of the group here, um, but we have um, seven fishing buddies, we have volunteer drivers who bring people to the activities, um, we've got people who work in the allotment, we've got people who work in the office, um, we have lots of meaningful activities hopefully that people enjoy. I became a volunteer because my husband had a stroke. The first time I came down the allotment had weeds that were like two to three foot high, seriously. And I just thought, well, there's no way that people who have had strokes can really get down to uh, getting the weeds out. And I just said, well, I'll help you. I know with my own husband uh, that he's come on through it because they're meeting people who are in the same situation. Well, I've had three strokes altogether. The first one was about two and a half years ago. Then I had a small one after that. And then about two years ago, I had a big one, which was affecting my right side and my speech, I lost all of it. Since then, I've recovered most of it and uh, I'm quite happy. Well, I, couldn't, I couldn't do anything with gardening, so I've learned quite a lot about it and I enjoy it. It's the camaraderie gets out of it. You know, you can sit at home all day and not see the people or speak to people who's in the same situation as I am. Hi, I'm uh, Rob, Rob Robinson. Fishing since I was a little lad about 60 years plus fishing. They're able to do things that uh, some of them you see are ex-anglers and they have this, this terrible illness and they think that their fishing career is over and everything comes to a full stop. And um, well, that's not the case, you know. It's, it's proved here that you can get these people out into the fresh air and they can start fishing again. And some of them are people who've never held a rod of alive and and they, you know, take part in it and uh, the hook, as they say, hook for life now. My name's Patricia Kelly. Mm. I was in hospital, I'd had the second stroke and uh, they gave me a leaflet of every different thing that's going on. Uh, and then they ring you up and assess you and everything. And then she told me about the group. Um, just mentioned about painting first. So I did a bit of painting and the picture's in that I'm glad to say is in terms I had off the group. And then they said about fishing and I said, fishing? How can I do that with one hand? Uh, and, and they said it's a whip one and stuff. So, and then I love it. I be out in this weather. I have got a fishing licence and I do go with my partner fishing. So I love it that much that I'll go on a Thursday or a Saturday. You have to get used to their ways and stuff because every fisherman fishes differently, don't they? So, oh, oh, you see, we nearly had another bite then. Took the eye off the ball. <laughs> Even the best fisherman of 30, 40 years can miss a, a bite. Um, my name's Amanda, um, I smash up tiles for a living. I make mosaics um, to exhibit and sell. Um, and then I also do a lot of work with communities and different groups. I've been working with um, mainly Trish and, and Hannah and a lot of the, the stroke survivors from this particular group to help create the survivor mosaic. It's going to be a really sort of positive project that hopefully will highlight um, you know, how strokes affect people and their families. Um, so it's been a pleasure to work with the group. All in all, it's been a, a great project and I've learned a lot as well and it's been a pleasure to meet the group. Um, I'm Hannah McDonnell. Um, I'm just 20 and um, I went to university. I collapsed. My friend Sam found me in the bedroom floor. Um, two weeks to coma, the doctor said you never talk, you never talk and walk, but I'm getting better. My speaking is not, it's not 100%. Uh, it's a horrible situation, you can't describe like your feeling, it's like, what? <laughs> it's so hard. Stroke Association, helping 
like me, and, you know, a loads of people, you know, like communication support, like just helping people speak again.